Hi guys, my name is Arya and I'm from EduRega. I welcome you all to this demo session revolving around the topic of blockchain developer. Now before I proceed into the session, could all of you just put a quick confirmation as to whether you can hear me or not? Okay, so seems like Prerna is ready, Akriti is ready, Shashank is ready. It seems like everybody's ready, so perfect. So let's jump into today's session. So let me give you guys a quick brief on the topics I intend to cover by the end of this session. We'll be discussing who a blockchain developer is, the different types of blockchain developers, companies hiring blockchain developers and their pay skills. Apart from all this, we'll also be discussing how you could bootstrap your own career as a blockchain developer. Now let's begin today's session. So who exactly is a blockchain developer? I've been asked this question quite a few times and it seems like there's some sort of confusion as to what kind of development does a blockchain developer really do? And in all seriousness, it's pretty easy to get confused with so many types of developers in the industry right now. So a blockchain developer is a person who is generally developing applications using blockchain technology. Apart from that, blockchain developers also develop new design features for blockchain networks. They're constantly tweaking the blockchain architecture for performance optimizations and many such development related stuff regarding blockchain. So basically a developer who develops apps using blockchain technology and the people fiddling around with the architecture and design models of blockchain are called blockchain developers. Now that I've told you guys who a blockchain developer is, let's go through the types of blockchain developers. As you can see, there are two major types of blockchain developers, core blockchain developers and blockchain software developer. Core blockchain developers generally are involved in developing the architecture for blockchain networks and dealing with the different protocols and design features. On the other hand, blockchain software developers use the architecture designed by the core blockchain developers to build decentralized applications running on blockchain technology. The two roles can be compared to a core web developer and a web developer, where core web developers are involved in the development of protocols like HTTP and SSL and the network architecture, while simple web developers use this architecture to build applications on top of it. Okay, so it seems like Prerna here has a really interesting question. She's asking whether a blockchain software developer can become a core blockchain developer. So to answer your question, Prerna, Yes, a blockchain software developer can surely become a core blockchain developer, but this only happens after a lot of time and experience. This is because their respective roles are quite different. While blockchain software developers tackle blockchain from an application perspective, the core blockchain developers tackle blockchain from an architectural perspective. I hope I was able to answer your question, Prerna. Now let's discuss the different roles of the types of blockchain developers that we discussed. So starting off with core blockchain developers, these are the guys that create the blueprint of the entire network. They create the block schema, which basically means what kind of information goes into every block. Above that, they also create the protocols that run the entire network. Building generalized and flexible protocols is key to the stability and success of a blockchain network. Leaving all this aside, a core blockchain developer also acts as a supervisor of the development of the whole network. So as you all can see, a core blockchain developer is a pretty integral part of any blockchain development team. Moving on to blockchain software developers. These guys are generally involved in making applications using blockchain technology. Their roles include developing smart contracts, creating interactive front end designs for their applications. They also develop the back end for their applications and the supervision of the entire stack of frameworks and technologies comes under these guys. OK, so it seems Vishal here has posted another question in the chat box. I find myself coming across this question from a lot of people. So Vishal here is asking whether a non-technical person can pursue a career in blockchain. Well, Vishal, it should be pretty obvious that someone from a non-technical background will have a really hard time understanding the development perspective of blockchain. So choosing blockchain to make a career would be an unwise decision. I hope that answers your question, Vishal. Okay, so moving forward with the session, let us discuss the technical skills required to become a blockchain developer. First and foremost, people striving to become a blockchain developer should definitely know the general blockchain architecture. The best way to do this is to go through the white paper written by Satoshi Nakamoto regarding the Bitcoin blockchain network. The white paper has explained the working of the entire technology to the tiniest detail. Secondly, an in-depth understanding and applicative knowledge of data structures is a must. Blockchain uses a lot of data structures in conjunction to create a secure and immutable system. Without understanding how things like Merkle trees, linked lists, and stacks work, it is impossible to become a blockchain developer. Along with data structures, basic knowledge of cryptography is also required to understand concepts like digital signatures and proof of work. I hope you guys are keeping up with me. A quick confirmation in the chat box would be great. 
Okay, so it seems like everybody is on the same page as I am. So moving ahead with the session, we also need to learn a language of development for smart contracts. Smart contracts allow logic to be implemented on the blockchain, which opens up blockchain technology to be used in fields where it was not previously possible. Smart contracts are generally developed in network specific languages. For example, Ethereum smart contracts are written in Solidity, while Hyperledger smart contracts are written in chain code. Learning these languages should be fairly easy if you have any experience with object-oriented programming. Last but not the least, you must also have some basic knowledge of web development. Your first step as a blockchain developer will be creating applications that use blockchain technology. So for this, you guys should know things like API handling, request handling, setting up interactive UIs, handling your backend, and such other work. Now that I've told you all how to become a blockchain developer, let's see the companies that are interested in hiring these guys. Studies have shown upward trends in Fortune 500 companies like IBM, Accenture, and Capgemini with job openings for blockchain developers. Not only Fortune 500 companies, but even startups like Peernova, Applied Blockchain, and BTL are on the hunt for blockchain developers. And these companies are also offering some really generous salaries. The average salary of a core blockchain developer is somewhere around $100,000 a year, while blockchain software developers earn somewhere around an average of $70,000 per year. Now that I've told you all who is a blockchain developer and how to become one yourself, you guys must have realized that it's definitely not an easy job. There's a lot to learn and it's really easy to get lost. Eddie Reka's blockchain course provides you with a structured and modular way to learn blockchain development. You will be topics ranging from blockchain architecture to smart contract development and even setting up your own private blockchain network. Eddie Reka is an e-learning company that provides live instructor-led training. Leaving that aside, Edureka also provides a 24-7 support team that is there to guide you with your technical and non-technical issues related to your course. At Edureka, you can change your batch if you need at your very own convenience. Above that, if you are not satisfied with a single run-through of your course, you can sign up for future batches n number of times free of cost. Once you enroll for a course at Edureka, you are given a lifetime access to Edureka's carefully crafted learning management system. The learning management system contains everything related to your course in a structured way so that you can keep tabs on your assignment, projects, lecture documents, and more so. Moving on, classes that you miss are always recorded and uploaded to the learning management system so that really you never miss out on anything. Now let me just give you guys a quick sneak peek to what our course landing page and LMS looks like. So our course landing page has every details regarding the course, whether it be the batch details or the course curriculum or the prerequisites that you might require for learning anything. Aside from that, you also get a lifetime access to this learning management system that I was talking about. Out here, you can find the prerequisites for your course, the self-paced videos which you can watch before a class also happens to get yourself prepared. There's also the course content that you can always go and verify and see how much you've done. There's class recordings that you missed. And there's also the personal library to where you can upload your projects and documents so that they can be verified by our instructors. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's demo session and learned something new. For those of you aspiring to become blockchain developers, I hope I have made you all realize the roadmap you need to take. That's it from me today. Goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!